Hello everyone, my name is Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is going to be a Walmart beauty box unboxing for the winter box. Um, if you saw my last beauty box unboxing for the fall box, I got a bunch of products in there that were not supposed to be in there that were from past boxes. So hopefully this season's box is better. I'm going to open it up. It comes with a little card, everything wrapped up in tissue paper. Um, and then the card just talks about everything that is inside or that you could have gotten in your box. Um, it also shows like other options of things you could have gotten. So I'm going to start off. First thing, I got this Gold Bond Pure Moisture Daily Body and Face Lotion. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, ooh. And source grapeseed oil, that's pretty cool that um, a drugstore product like this has hyaluronic acid. I know, I think hyaluronic acid is actually like pretty inexpensive if you buy it on your own, but I feel like it's typically associated with more higher end skincare. Um, and so it's nice to see it in a, um, let's see if we can get a focus on this in a drugstore product like this. So this is a nice little sample. Um, my camera totally turned. I want like a new tripod, y'all. Still figuring it out. This is a nice sized sample um, if you're using it on your face. It says daily body and face lotion. If it's on your body, it's not gonna last super long, but if you're only putting it on like your face and neck, which is probably what I'll use it for, um, this will last a long time. I kind of prefer like unscented things on like my face and neck and stuff and then I'll use scented products on my body. And then another thing that we have in here is this number seven laboratories line correcting booster serum. Now this is a tiny little sample but it is a serum um, and so you don't need a whole lot of it. I've gotten this in a subscription box before, but I can't remember which one. It, it might have been a past Walmart box, but it also could have been um, when Target did their like monthly beauty boxes. Um, it might have been in one of those. I don't know, but I have tried this before. I cannot remember if I liked it or not. And then I'm just gonna grab this. We got a liquid IV sample. Um, they are always throwing in liquid IV samples into these. I actually, I really don't like liquid IV. My husband loves liquid IV. I think it tastes so chalky. Um, I would much rather use like other electrolyte um, drink mixes. My favorite is Mio. Um, and Mio has like energy ones, they have electrolyte ones, they have some that just flavor your water. Um, I think those taste a lot better. Um, liquid IV might be healthier for you than that, I have no idea, but I don't think it tastes good at all. But uh, here's what the packet looks like, and when you buy a box, you get like um, these inside of the box. Okay, now this next thing I am kind of excited about, this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 hour coal liner. Now I almost never use colorful liners like this. This isn't even like super colorful. It's um, this is in the color gold, but I've been seeing a lot of TikToks of girls doing their like eyeshadow using colorful liners and basically like take the liner, put it on their eyes and then like blend it out. And it just like looks so nice and not like um, super dry the way that like powder eyeshadow looks and I am still like stuck in 2016. I am still layering on the powdered eyeshadow and then it ends up making your eye look really dry and I already have dry skin. Um, so it's just like, it's not really working for me. So this is a good time to get this so I can try out that technique and see if it works better for me. I have been using more like crayon eyeshadows in general lately just to um, combat that issue and also keep up with the trends. And so this will be fun to use. And then we have these Invisibottles. So last box we got those like Invisibottle hairpins and I'm gonna be honest, I have not used them once. Um, I was really excited to use them and then I just haven't, I don't know, I haven't even like thought of using them when I'm doing my hair. Um, but this time we got these little Invisibottle minis and these look like they are good for like smaller, um, hairstyles like what you would normally use those like little itty bitty elastic hair ties for when you're only picking up like a small small section of hair to do like a more elaborate hairstyle um or maybe if you're even like doing kids hair because i use a lot of those tiny tiny little elastic ones on my daughter's hair it looks like these might be a good um replacement for those which would be fantastic because those hair ties you use them once and then you throw them away. And so these, like you could reuse again and again. So I am excited to get this. I do like 
Invisibobble hair ties. I actually, I don't usually buy um, Invisibobble brand of like these style hair ties. Actually, let me grab one. Like this one right here, for example, I got this off Shop Missé and I got a pack of like four of them, maybe? Either four or six of them and I got them for a dollar and they work fantastic. Um, I love these. They like don't pull on your hair, but they also don't fall out as easily as like scrunchies do. Um, so I love like Invisibobble and Invisibobble styled hair ties. So excited to try these. Did I even get a good close up? Let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we have this little Garnier Line Smoothing Serum Cream Retinol and Berry. Fragrance free for fine lines and uneven texture. I'm actually really interested in this product, but they did only send like a little foil sample, which I would have preferred something that you get at least a few uses out of because this I will use once and throw away. And I think some people, and I definitely used to do this, will um, use a foil, open a foil sample and get like, like use it several days in a row. But I, like, as soon as I open a foil sample, I don't like having it, like, sitting out and, like, um, opened and collecting stuff, like, overnight or over the day or whatever. So I will usually just use it once and throw it away, um, like, just to keep things sanitary. I would have preferred, you know, a, a legit, like, sample that you could get more uses out of because this is a very intriguing product, retinol and berry. Um, so yeah, and then the very last thing is another cool product. This is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. I can't think if I've ever tried any Milani mascaras, but I love the brand Milani. I love mascaras and honestly, I love sample mascaras like this better than like full size mascaras because I feel like I have more control with the smaller wand. So I can like do get my eyelashes better. I love that. So I've got a little sample size mascara. So I really love the box that I got, but that being said, it looks like the Milani mascara is not in the pamphlet. Um, this looks like it was a product that was not supposed to be in here, because I'm pretty sure everything in the pamphlet, um, your, everything in your box is supposed to be on this pamphlet. And they have like other options that you could have potentially gotten in your box, um, but the Milani one, is not on here at all. Everything else is, except for the Milani mascara, which I'm not too mad about this time because I do like the Milani mascara. Last month I got kind of some like less exciting things. Um, so I'm not gonna complain too much, but the fact that it happened two months in a row is kind of showing how whoever puts these boxes together really doesn't give a shit. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's Walmart Beauty Box unboxing. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.